invalid traffic can be the result of intentional and unintentional bot traffic on your website or accidental user clicks. Besides this, it can also occur because of poor ad placement strategy and intrusive ads, as users can accidentally click on them. In any case, invalid traffic can damage your website's reputation, violate Google's policies, and create a loss in ad revenue. In this video, you'll learn about different types of invalid traffic, how it affects your website, and how to detect it. There are two types of invalid traffic. Let's start with the first one. General invalid traffic is considered the least harmful and easiest to spot. It's generated by bots and crawlers without the intention of simulating real human activity. It usually displays non-human behavior, like switching pages every 5 seconds for an extended period of time. It's easy to detect, identify, and block by using routine filtration methods with lists of known spiders and bots or regular parameter checks of your ad performance and website. There are three main categories of general invalid traffic. First one, data centers. Ad traffic originates from data center servers with IPs linked to invalid activity. Known data center IPs can be found on the Trustworthy Accountability Group data center IP list, which is regularly updated. Second one, known crawlers. Ad traffic that comes from a program that automatically requests content. These crawlers declare themselves non-human and can be found on the IAB ABC International Spiders and Bots list. Third one, irregular patterns. Ad traffic that comes with specific qualities, such as duplicate clicks or page auto-refresh. On the other hand, we have sophisticated invalid traffic. This type is more complicated to spot and prevent, requiring real human assistance for detailed analysis and identification. Fraudsters usually try to mask simple patterns and make it harder to detect their behavior by developing new forms of ad fraud. Sophisticated invalid traffic is malicious and causes direct damage to advertiser budgets. There are three common types of sophisticated invalid traffic ad fraud. First one, hidden advertising. Making the ads invisible to the users to generate a higher number of ad impressions. For example, fraudsters can hide a one by one pixel ads in places where users can accidentally click on them or even stack multiple video pre-rolls in one ad slot. Second one, cookie stuffing. Stuffing third-party cookies into the user's browser to make it seem like the user visited the website with the shown ad. This way, fraudsters can steal the advertising money paid to real sites. And the third one, auto-refresh. Automatically refreshing ads many times to increase the number of impressions. But, how does invalid traffic hurt publishers? Invalid traffic can hurt websites' data, manipulate analytics, damage monetization opportunities, and add inventory value. There are five common signs of invalid traffic. High bounce rate, low dwell time, multiple clicks from the same IP address, unexpected traffic peaks, and low conversion rates, as well as recurring traffic peak patterns. Although these signs alone aren't always a result of invalid traffic, you should keep an eye on the frequency and make regular ad performance checkups. If you experience a mix of these signals and are concerned, contact your monetization provider or use ad fraud detection and prevention tools. How to detect invalid traffic with Google Analytics Google Analytics has four key metrics that indicate possible invalid traffic. Average Session Duration By clicking on the Audience tab and navigating to Overview, you can see the average session duration. If it's close to zero, then most likely it's because you've received lots of invalid traffic on your site. Bounce Rate A high bounce rate doesn't always signal invalid traffic, as sometimes users quickly leave pages because they find the content irrelevant. If the bounce rate is close to 100%, it can indicate suspicious activity. The average bounce rate is 20 to 45 percent for e-commerce websites and 60 to 90 percent for landing pages, blogs, and portals. Traffic channels. By clicking on all traffic under acquisition tab and then navigating to channels, 
can see which of your referral traffic sources is sending bot traffic instead of real users. Typically, you can spot them with a high percentage of bounce rate and minimal average session duration. Referral sources. By clicking on All Traffic under the Acquisition tab and navigating to Referrals, it's possible to track suspected fraudulent traffic and see the source where it's coming from. And that's a wrap! Keep an eye on the signs of invalid traffic and avoid ad placement mistakes to ensure that you don't harm your website's performance and reputation. Share your experience with invalid traffic in the comments section and I'll see you next time!